Ranking Member Portman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first of all, with regard to the conversation we just had on the, the discrepancies uh, with regard to National Guard assistance, uh, I would request that uh, both uh, Chief Sund, you and uh, Mr. Irving provide us with those phone records. Uh, I know there's there's been some interviews that have been conducted, but I'm not sure we have the phone records, and that seems to my, that would clear up some of the confusion. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about preparedness. Chief Sund, in your testimony, you talked about the need for better intelligence and better coordination. That was your conclusion. And I, I think that's true. And certainly everything we have learned indicates that was uh, part of the problem. But what about preparedness? Um, we've received information that prior to January 6, Capitol Police officers were not trained on how to respond to an infiltration of the Capitol building. Is that tr correct, Mr. Sund? When you talk about infiltration, you talk about a large insurrection like we saw on the January 6th? No. And why not? Why wouldn't we be prepared for an infiltration of the Capitol? Given the risk that's out there, um, I would say to Mr. Irving and Mr. Stenger, both of you have had distinguished careers with the Secret Service, um, I, I, would, I would ask you all just to give me a quick yes or no answer. Does the Secret Service have training regarding infiltration as an example of the White House? Yes or no? Mr. Stanger? Mr. Irving? Senator? I'll take that as a yes. If it's a yes. no, you, okay. Mr. Stanger, are you a yes also? Yes. Okay. Well, it seems obvious that you would have training on responding to an infiltration. Um, so I think if, if nothing else comes out of this process, we've got to figure out how to deal with, again, the, the, the real danger that is out there. And it seems to me the intelligence reports, but also just the, the previous demonstrations um, would indicate a need for that kind of training. Um, let me ask you about something else, if I could. Mr. Sun, and that has to do with um, the U.S. Capitol Police officers that I saw on video and the world saw fighting against this attack uh, in, in street uniforms or soft uniforms. Uh, many of them did not have riot gear. I'm told by contrast, D.C. Metropolitan Police Department provides all of its officers with such gear, including helmets, shields, gloves, gas masks. Um, having seen those incredibly disturbing videos and photographs of your brave officers attempting to hold the line to defend the Capitol without that kind of riot gear. Um, are all Capitol Police officers outfitted with riot gear? No, they're not, sir. They're not. And, and why are they not? So if you look at the way we outfit our, our officers, and it'll probably be very similar to, I think you'll find with, even with Metropolitan, I've been with Metropolitan for a number of years, um, they'll have a certain number of officers, uh, CDU platoons as they call, it's not the entire, uh, entire force that's outfitted to the uh, level one CDU with is the big protective gear, the helmets, uh, things like that. So we, we outfit a number of our, we have seven CDU platoons that we can activate. Four of those platoons, it's 40 people in a platoon, are activated to what we call the level one, the full CDU uh, gear and equipment. Uh, it requires extensive uh, cost, extensive training to keep that and keep and maintain that level. For us, a number of our officers are posted in interior posts, screening posts, things like that, where they, you know, that gear wouldn't do them any suffice, you know, wouldn't provide them any support. Uh, so we have determined up till January 6th that that number of CDU platoons had sufficed for all the demonstrations that we had been dealing with on Capitol Hill. Yeah, Mr. Sunday, I would just say, you know, obviously those officers who you say had interior posts needed it that day. Uh, so it's not accurate to say that they didn't need it. Um, but I know that you activated seven of these civil, disper dis disperse, dis civil disturbance unit platoons and um, that only four of them had riot gear. Um, I, I don't know why you would have a civil disturbance unit platoon that didn't have riot gear, um, but you, you've just testified that that's true, that only four of them had it. Is that correct? Th that is correct. And just one additional point, since I've been chief, uh, I've actually pushed for every member in the department to, to have riot helmets 
Uh, I had ordered those back in September. That we had been looking at delays because of COVID from the manufacturer getting them delivered, and they actually just started being delivered January 4th and distributed to our officers uh, just days before this, with limited limited numbers being given to the officers prior to this event. Yeah, you know, too too late for for many of those officers. Chief Conti, the comment was made that Metropolitan Police does not all have rad gear. Is that true? I thought that the Metropolitan Police Department officers did have access to rad gear. Could you comment on that? Yeah, so we have seven platoons that have uh, the hardened, hardened gear, but all of our officers uh, have uh, ballistic helmets. All of our officers uh, have batons. All of our officers are deployed with gloves uh, as well and uh, gas masks. So our entire department uh, are deployed with, with that level. But when you're talking about the hardened, hardened all of the, the other extras, uh, we have seven platoons that, that have the yeah. additional, that's a different layer of protection. But every officer has a helmet. Every officer has the protective gloves. Every officer has the baton. Is that correct? And gas mask. That is correct. And gas mask. Yeah. Uh, it appeared um, to um, the Metropolitan Police Department, I'm told, that the Capitol Hill police officers did not have the training in civil disturbance tactics uh, that they had. That's what I was told by some of the interviews that we've had. Uh, Chief Conti, is that correct? Yes, I've heard the, the same thing uh, with respect to the training of the U.S. Uh, Capitol Police officers. Are all of your Metropolitan Police officers trained in civil disturbance tactics? We have uh, platoons that are that are trained for every uh, for, for for every patrol district and our special operations uh, division. Uh, some officers uh, do not have the civil disturbance uh, training. On uh, those officers, generally they work uh, traffic duties or they work uh, assignments back in patrol. Mm -hmm. um, Chief Sund, if I could add, they get it coming up. If I could add to one other yes. thing, all of our officers uh, who leave the training academy, they get the basic civil disturbance unit uh, training. So all of our officers do get the, the basic uh, training, but we might have some members, for example, who've been on. For 30 years, and they haven't been CDU trained, and they may work, you know, back out of patrol district. But all of our members coming out the academy, they receive the civil disturbance unit training. Uh, Mr. Sun, is that true with Capitol Hill police officers also? Are they all trained in civil disturbance tactics as they go through their training? That was a process being implemented. I can I can check and let you know if that's been fully implemented for new recruits coming out of the academy. That was one of the initiatives I was working on. So we were working on that, but. Um, as far as you know, this training was not being provided even for new officers, much less for those on the I believe floor. It, I believe the new officers coming out were, but I just need to uh, confirm that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think the, the bottom line here is that, unfortunately, our officers were not given the proper training with regard to infiltration of the building or the complex, with regard to dealing um, with civil disturbance, and, and they didn't have the equipment necessary to push back, mm -hmm. and most importantly, to protect themselves. So my hope is that, again, one of the ways that this joint hearing and this committee report can be helpful is to bring the Capitol Police Department up to speed. Um, and look, I appreciate the sacrifice and the bravery of that day, but I think we also owe it to those officers to provide them the training and the equipment they need to protect themselves and to protect the Capitol. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.